there's a wonderful renaissance of wildlife in Staten Island. But I think, you know, naturalists will tell us it has to be in balance. We can't just go yippee and ignore the fact that if there's an overabundance of one kind of animal or one kind of plant, that everything's okay. It's not. Today, along with protectors of Pine Oak Woods, we're here at Clay Pit Pond State Park to take a look at an exclosure they built, an exclosure that protects the native plants in the forest from being overbrowsed by deer. And it's really remarkable to see what looks like a green, healthy forest actually is a forest in crisis. It's a forest in crisis because the deer have eaten so much of the native vegetation, and crucially, they've eaten many of the small trees, that there are many who fear that the forest will not regenerate, will not grow, will not have a new generation of, of uh, trees. So we saw today in vivid detail how the exclosure really represents what the forest floor should look like. These woodlands are unique uh, across the Northeast. Uh, we have some of the species from down south, some trees from down south that you cannot find up north, as well as some species from up north that you cannot find down south. Clay Pit Pond Park State Preserve is a really unique uh, ecology. Uh, we're here today because that ecology has changed over these last number of decades. It's been 45 years now, and large part because of the browsing of deer. The deer will come in and, and as we heard, they'll uh, eat and nibble at the young shoots of new trees that start to grow. They have eaten a lot of the endangered species of flowers that you cannot find elsewhere in New York State. And as they eat these low-growing shrubs, uh, these invasive species then start to take over. And now, other than those two small deer enclosures, it is a monoculture. There are two or three species of plants that have taken over the entire understory of this park. And so ultimately, we want to raise the awareness. Uh, Our President Otto often talks about science-based thinking, follow the science. And that's what we're doing. And when we follow the science about the forest ecosystem, it leads right to these exclosures. Um, in addition, we want to really introduce this notion of these explosions and what it means to our schools, uh, to our school systems, to students, because the students, that's our next generation of naturalists. We want to educate them too.